Hi guys, Nanto here with uh, KTV Air Health. Well, today I'll be chatting with you about my experience with uh, credit card debt and how my credit score took a big hit. Literally went down by 11 points in just one month. What happened? How did I get there? Well, first, a lot of us have been there, you know, that kind of slippery slope few hundred dollars here, few hundred dollars there before you know it and you keep swiping and the credit card just keep piling up and before you before you know it you are in a huge serious financial problem. Well in our own situation somewhere around November we were actually expecting some money from two different sources. Mind you the word is we were expecting money and because of that we made some financial decision to spend upfront knowing that once we get the money back we'll just use it to pay the credit card around november of course uh black friday we made a lot of purchases for the home and everything and then of course christmas period we did lots of spending you know christmas gifts making sure that everybody gets their gift the kids and everybody well the sad story was that the money that we were anticipating never came November went by, December went by, by January it dawned on us that we were getting zip. Mind you now that we have already accumulated a, over a $4,500 in credit card debt. That was about the same amount we were anticipating. In addition, we purposefully spent additional around $1,500 and my goal was to pay that off uh, within a, about two to three months. We took advantage of some of the Black Friday deals. Well, long story short, uh, within a couple of months, $6,000 debt and before we know it, around April, we were close to $10,000 in debt. Obviously, I knew that something had to give. We had to do something about it. So what did I do? How did we tackle this whole crazy uh, debt that we accumulated? Some of course I will tell you was partly our fault. Some of it we were anticipating something that never came. So how did we overcome this debt? Well first we had to make lots and lots of uh, cuts on expenses. Just minor stuff such as making sure that we didn't turn the light on when we should not have. You know, making sure that the kids are not uh, wasting a lot of water or the air conditioner, leaving the AC on when we didn't have to. Just little things like that. Uh, that extra money that we saved towards the utilities, we put everything towards uh, paying down the credit card. What else did we do? Well, we had to make some drastic decisions. Uh, some of the monthly uh, savings, we had to reallocate a portion of our monthly savings uh, towards uh, paying down the credit card. So basically what that means is instead of putting $100 towards savings, I'm just giving a hypothetical example. Instead of putting $100 towards savings, we probably put like $70 and that extra $30 went towards paying credit card debt. So the other thing that we did was taking a hard stance against the spending what we didn't have. What that meant was we decided not to make any purchases if we didn't have the cash. Whatever that was, we just did not spend what we didn't have. Because it's very tempting to just, you know, once you're there, online where be it shopping online or the store just swiping that credit card we said no we can't do that anymore so that was very helpful uh instead of accumulating more debt we just did not accumulate the debt rather we just continued to pay down what we were owing that really helped us a lot to keep our debt under control so the fourth measure that we took was reducing the amount uh, we allocated towards a discretionary spending. For example, the amount that we allocate towards a kid's uh, monthly uh, need, be it buying toys or buying shoes, whatever that was, we had to take a deep cut towards that. So my wife and I, we also had to take some deep cuts in our own personal uh, take-home pay. Basically, some of the uh, monthly needs, whether it's buying clothes, buying shoes, whatever that was, we were not getting what we used to get. That uh, additional money, we put that towards uh, paying down the credit card debt. And lastly, uh, we decided that there will be no exorbitant uh, vacation. So we pretty much kept it local. Uh, guess what? We all enjoyed it. The kids had fun. My wife had fun. We just traveled uh, within the state and out of state, just a neighboring state. Uh, just 
no, nothing crazy, nothing so fanciful, but that additional money that we probably would have spent on vacation, we put that towards a credit card debt. Again, everybody was happy. I was happy. Probably I was happier than everybody else just knowing that this crazy monster behind my back was just being pared down big time. So what does this whole story have to do with your credit score going down by 11 points? Well, now to the fun part. So it took about a 10 to 11 months for us to pay off the entire credit card that we owed. Remember, mind you that by the time we started putting this measure in place, we were almost $10,000 in credit card debt. So once we paid off the entire credit card that we owed, we took extra steps to ensure that we don't find ourselves in that financial trap. We decided to cut the credit card. In other words, we made that decision to close that particular uh, credit card that we had. It doesn't mean that we didn't have other credit card. We had a strong one, but I felt like there was no need for us to have multiple credit cards. We'd rather have one and control it pretty well. Well, once we took that step, obviously someone didn't like that decision. I'm not kidding you guys. Uh, I got that email saying that it looks like my credit score went down by 11 points. Find out what happened, obviously. So once I checked, obviously, uh, I was anticipating it, of course, when you close your account. So when I checked, obviously, the reason was because we closed our credit card account. Guess what? I was happy. I'm not kidding you because I'd rather take 11 point hit than staying up late worrying about credit card debt. I'm telling you, it was, it was so bad that at some point we were paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars in, in monthly interest. Of course, we didn't have to go that extra mile, but guess what? Personally, I felt like we needed to put a control in place. That particular credit card had the highest interest rate on it. It wasn't serving us any good. There's no point having two credit cards when you can just have one. It didn't serve us any good keeping our two credit cards when you can just have one and control how you spend your money. That's pretty much my experience uh, with the whole uh, credit score going down. The good news is that since then, my credit score has actually gone up big time, probably close to 20 points. So I'm happy that I took that extra step. So for us now, we, we strive to resist the temptation of spending what we didn't have. I'm not kidding you, almost every week I get this mail uh, from various uh, credit card companies that enticing me to get their credit cards. Uh, so we have to be careful, you have to be a good steward of your resources. You need to know when you need it and when you don't need it. Don't just get enticed because you're getting 0% interest for maybe 12 months and then you need to read in between lines. Sometimes after 15 months, after 12 months, the interest rate is about 25%. That is crazy. So be careful guys. Uh, I learned the hard way. My wife and I will learn the hard way. But I'm hoping that uh, sharing this video with you will encourage you and hopefully if you are in that position right now, maybe there are a couple of things that I shared here on, in this video that can help you. Uh, but you have to take that extra step. Paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars every month in interest. Just knowing that you have these thousands and thousands of dollars in loan, in debt. Uh, it just doesn't make you feel great. It doesn't make you feel happy. We all know that financial stress is one of the biggest uh, stressors people deal with in this country. Because stress as we know it, that's where health comes in. I'm all about helping people take back their dream health. I had to do the same for myself and I continue to do it every day because it's a struggle. We all go through lots and lots of financial hardship. It's Especially if you're a parent. You probably know what I'm talking about. The whole daycare stuff. I even get me started there. That's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. If you want more details about my whole credit score experience, uh, be sure to head over to my blog. I published a blog post uh, recently about this whole experience. But also, if you've been through this experience, uh, I would appreciate if you can share your experience in the comment section. Maybe there are a couple of tips that helped you get through this whole thing. Or if you are currently going through that I maybe you have uh, some other questions uh, there are a lot of things I couldn't share uh, if you have any question or any comment please leave that in the comment section as always I appreciate you guys please uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not done that and give this video a thumbs up I look forward to sharing some other great videos with you guys in the future remember there is no pressure like financial pressure and there is no stress like financial stress stay out of debt guys have a great day